Alexandria, you're on the air. Hey, what's up, Howard? What's up, honey? Hey, listen, I was wondering what you were doing for Valentine's Day. And if you don't have any plans, would you like to have a non-sexual date? A what kind of date? <laughs> you were talking earlier about having non-sexual dates with girls and how you didn't think it was possible. So I figured it's Valentine's Day, and if you wanted to have a non-sexual date, you've uh, got a candidate. Bye, bye. Like... I'm sorry? What, are you good looking? Of course I'm good looking, Howard. I wouldn't call you if I was ugly. You want to think about it? How old are you? I'm 26 years old. Well, that's, that's in the right age group. Because <laughs> you subtract 20 for a man and you add 20 oh, for a woman. Oh, is this as a result of talking to that band and saying you didn't think it was possible to be with a girl and not? <laughs> I don't know. Well, Robin, I was listening when he was saying that, but um, the idea, of course, is independent. It definitely in other words, you, the idea is you like me, you just don't want me to think you're a slut. Howard, everybody likes you. But are you really still trying to hold out for your wedding day or something? Are you a virgin? I'm not a virgin. No, so <laughs> I have to be the, one? be the I'm one? I'm the lucky one? <laughs> well, what are we going to do? <laughs> Howard, if you went out with me, I would be the lucky one. Really? Of course. So you're 26. I'm 26. And yeah, what do you do for a living? I'm actually at work right now. I work for an accountant. I do oh. line accounting and secretarial work. Really? And you're white? Um, actually, I'm kind of exotic looking. I'm not white. I'm not black. I have about seven nationalities. Seven nationalities. Imagine that, <laughs> Who Robin. Who was in the room that night? I mean, can you imagine that? <laughs> I think it was the United Nations, Robin. <laughs> yeah? And with it, how much you weigh? Um, you'd have to see me. I'm really tall. I'm 5'10". Oh, 5'10 um, is good. Yeah, I used to model. Oh. <coughs> yeah. <laughs> How tall are you? I'm 5'10", Robin. Oh. Without my shoes on, Howard. Yeah, well, you're going to be most on the, mostly on the date you'll be without your shoes, so that's oh, good. Really? Oh, yes. Does that mean we have a date? I don't know. You want to think about it? Really? Do I frighten you, Howard? Well, maybe you ought to meet her before Yeah, you maybe I should meet you. Would you like to do that? Yes. I would love to meet you. Really? Ah, Jackie makes a good point. Have the date here. Start the date That's here. That's a wonderful <laughs> idea, Howard. I'll be your guest for the day, and I'll bring you a rose. Really? Of course. Well, you're a very aggressive young lady. I like that. <laughs> you seem to know what you want. You're going out to get it. Well, um, that depends on your answer. Hmm. Yeah, and uh, you into anal? <gasps> Why don't we talk about that in person? Yes. yes. You got big boobs? Um, I don't think you'll be disappointed. Really? Really? Hmm. Hmm. He's debating. What do you think, Robin? You think I ought to take her up on it? We ought to meet her. We ought to meet her. Yeah. She's a girl so in love. Why not? Maybe it could work into a nice Valentine's Day for me. So why don't we give it a shot, Howard? Here he thought he was going to be brokenhearted on Valentine's Day. Here I had no Valentine. I hear of it, Robin. He's Is that right, baby? Well, what the hell? A man can fantasize. Yeah, sure, I'll meet you. All right, why don't you come down here on, uh, what is tomorrow, Robin? Tomorrow's, Tomorrow's Friday. Friday. Let me see if I can pencil you in. Oh, looks like we have an opening. Wow. <laughs> Just imagine that. I am so honored. Well, uh, all right. What time, Howard? Well, let's get you in early. Let's get you in 6 <laughs> o'clock. Gary yeah. is going to make the schedule. I'll yeah. Care. Where do you live? I live in Manhattan. That's perfect. Yeah. We'll get you right in here. We'll look you over. What are you going to wear? It's something conservative, you said? No, no, no. I said nothing slutty, but enough to leave something for the imagination. Mini skirt? You'll stay. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> All right, hold she on. seems to know you. You seem to really want me. Want me to well, I think you're a up? great guy. Really? Have you taken I a good look at me? I don't want to be alone on Valentine's Day, and I don't want you to be alone on Valentine's Day. Yeah. See, this is, I think this is a great, a proactive girl. <laughs> yeah, I need this because I'm very shy. So am I. This I don't know how really to approach anybody. Oh, no, you're doing fine. Well, thank you, Howard. So are you. Mm -hmm. we'll but I like this together. attitude. Why not? Why not? Why shouldn't I have a happy Valentine's Day? I agree. Yeah, see, you were going to sit around and be modeling, but she said, you know what? I'm not going to be alone on Valentine's mm -hmm. Day. Howard shouldn't be either. My future ex-wife. <laughs> 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 All right, hold on. Okay. All right, that's Alexandria. Hmm. Very exotic. Where's my date? Isn't my date going to be here today also? What date? Is my girl who wants to date me going to come in? Oh, yes, 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 your Valentine. Where's my Valentine? She's coming in on Valentine's Day. Valentine's No, she's coming in today. Oh, not Valentine's he Day. Up. He got it screwed up again. John said, I, I and we don't want her on Valentine's Day. I was listening to the segment. John said this girl's going to date John is a moron. Day. He didn't tell me that she was supposed to come in today. It's He's so simple. We say, come in. He wants to look at you to see if he'll date you for to Valentine's Day. To get the okay. I did not get that. 
I did not get that. John just put a note on my John, desk. Oh. He's going to get mad at me, but he just put a note on my desk and a scribble. It didn't say Booker tomorrow. Can somebody it, listen to me when I talk on the air? He said she wants to be Howard's Valentine's Day date, so I booked her for Valentine's Day. No, that's not what I was interested in. She had to come today to pass muster. Right. right. Where is that retard? Is he late? Oh, he won't come. No, he's here. <sighs> Tell him to call her and get, tell her to get down here today. You screw up everything because you don't. No, no, you don't. Uh, I thought it was uh, Valentine's uh, Day as well. No, uh, no. Uh, you're the uh, only uh, one who thought uh, it was Valentine's uh, Day. Nobody told me. We said uh, come uh, down uh, tomorrow. What does tomorrow mean? He's saying I thought it was Valentine's Day as well. Who else was thinking? You no, in other words, I thought you're saying she. The whole call was she no. had to come down for Valentine's Day. No, no, Day. that's what you would do on the radio. That's why you're a failure. Uh, uh, here we go. You know, yeah. you, you know, I. I didn't you know, hear, you know, and then I was on the phone you know, the whole time. You ruined the bed. No, you shouldn't guess. Yeah, no, ask somebody. I, Why the whole they... the whole premise of the call was no, she wanted to come down. For no, you, that's for your premise. No, no. Well, the premise was that she was coming in today. That oh, was my oh, premise. I see what he's saying. He never even listened to the radio. No, I was on the phone the whole time. He so then talked I talked to the girl on the phone and found out what the girl. Well, wanted. does anybody? That's uh, what he booked. Oh, that's what the girl wants. Uh, Let me see. No. All right, I'm call her up and say if she comes down today. All right. Yeah, right I, now, yeah, go do it. She actually lives in the city, so it might not be that. Yeah, yeah. it might not be a problem. Do it quickly, as quick as you Our can. Numbers, uh, on the left-hand side. I got something else planned for Monday. All I right. can't squeeze all that crap in. I have a complete... I, John, look at me. I'm a genius. You're not. You must pay attention to the genius. Not the Like I said, it wasn't a malicious uh, act. I was just... I know, I, but I, you've got to pay attention. I need you to pay attention. I need you to be sharp on your game. And then you'll be a genius. You're very close to being a genius. You're just You're not quite there yet. Genius. You're close to genius. <laughs> well, you know, well, let me go call her and see if I get right. You know, everyone in this room is a genius but you. <laughs> Robin's a genius. Jackie, Fred, Gary. As soon as possible. Like in a half hour. All right. Which was when we were scheduling it for 6 to 7, which will now end up at 8, which I don't want. Oh, God. I can't. I can't tell you. The whole premise. This premise. Hey, come on, it's just a typical day on the Howard Stern show. Where is she? Says right at the test. That's what I want. I wanted. He's very difficult. I should have fired him years ago. You know where it is? John. Yeah. She's coming in. What's that? She's coming in. Oh, how do you know? I just called him. Oh, so you had the number? Because we need people to do stuff. What time? Like 20 minutes. Good morning, everybody. It's just a typical day on the Howard Stern show. My best guess. <laughs> I, take, I, I didn't think it meant. That's what I want. I wanted. Uh, uh, he's very difficult. Oh. I should have fired him years ago. But oh. you know me. You know that hurts. I figure the audience likes when he stammers and stutters. Yeah, but why do you put him in a position where you can actually screw up? Because I need people to do stuff, and I mean we're paying them. <laughs> yeah, it's, I mean you can't get John paid just for stammering and stuttering. <laughs> yeah, but I mean in a perfect world you would. John gets crazy when you say that. Stuff. John, you should be on the phone. Don't come back in here. No, she's coming in. What so, time? She'll be in 20 minutes. Yeah. All right, 20 uh, minutes is good. Now you're redeemed. But Howard, you're realized, lucky. You're lucky. Uh, the reason why I didn't hear what, it was because I was doing my job. What a stroke of luck. Uh, uh, I'm all is dressed up for my listening? date. Howard, do you know what I'm saying? What? The reason why I didn't hear what the day is because I was doing my job. I was on the phone getting other calls. All right, so, so, so then, KC, like was, uh, then KC should yeah, book these people. Listening? Why are you booking them? Who is listening no, no, to right. the show? He, he gave it to me to book, but yeah. he just told but me But he what shouldn't he, because he doesn't know. He should say, I don't know what day Howard No, no, no. I, I assume that you're going to call or, you know. Anne Marie yesterday. listens don't to the show. Assume. Here we go. What is it, Anne Marie? What did I say on the air yesterday? Right. No, Howard, you did say you wanted her to come in today. And I. What usually what happens when these calls go on, I turned to John and I said, You have it? And he's like, Yeah, but. I assumed he knew it was... Yeah, you know what it is? You're fault. assuming he knows something. Don't assume no, no, anything. None John. of us do. We never assume John knows anything. Yeah, I'm just, no. I'm just trying to get, like, more calls up. I wasn't doing any... I was just on yeah, the phone. It's the all right. We get it. We get it. Just don't assume John knows anything. Well, from now on... <laughs> like yeah. Go straight to Gary. We'll bypass John. John. He's very retarded. No, he's... Yeah, you got to bypass John. Right. Because he, he <laughs> books people, and he doesn't know what day I tell him to come in. <laughs> come, come, come Instead Sunday. of saying, does anybody know? But, but, but the pre the premise. Uh, 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 now, you still don't get what I'm talking about, do you? I know you're going to say, I was busy booking people on the phone. Well, that would, yeah, yeah, that is, right. that is your excuse. I know that's your excuse, but when you don't know something, you say, I don't know what day he wants her. No, no, but I thought, I, I right. really I know what you thought. I, I thought it was you a Valentine's didn't think. Day. That, that was key. I'm just saying, I just, I just John, assumed it was Valentine's John, Day. You know the, I, I apologize. You know this conversation <laughs> you and I have, this is the part where you go, Howard, I'm really sorry and it won't happen again. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. I'm but he, oh, it will happen again. It's his usual mistake. Yeah, you don't have to apologize. Just, wa just move If Anne Marie down watches down. your ass, then it won't happen again. All right. No, hey, but goodbye. she's listening to the show constantly. On. Right. I, I'm not. Right. And you're thinking. And that's why you shouldn't book. Which is why I didn't even know when Jackie wasn't here. All right, I don't want to get into a long, extended conversation. Leave. All right. That's it.
You're done. Uh, now go back and answer phones. And if you don't know something, tell us. But he doesn't know when he doesn't know. Oh. He's going to think. All right. I'm so, I apologize, ladies and gentlemen. It's just some internecine battle. Uh, internecine. Internecine battle. Internecine. Thank you, Robin. <laughs> Thank you so much. Hi, my name is Alexandra. I called in the other day. I wanted to be how it's Valentine. Um, so he had me come in, so I guess he could give me the once over. Now, why do you want to be Howard's Valentine? Why pick Howard? Well, it's the most romantic holiday of the year, and he's the sexiest man alive. Now, what do you What do you think sexy about him? His personality, definitely. I mean, it goes without saying that he's attractive, but he's got an awesome personality. Now, do you want this Valentine thing to go farther, or you just want to be his Valentine just for this year? Let's see. Now, what are you planning? Like, how can you woo him to be your Valentine? What would you do? I or thought what that's what I just did. <laughs> I mean, there's no I came down here to talk to him about. I mean, I don't know. I guess let's we'll hang out, see what happens. All right. Well, good luck. All right. You want to meet my Valentine? There's a girl who called in yesterday. Oh. All right. She How do I look, Rob? She's a cute girl on the phone. <clears throat> it's a really cute sounding girl on the phone. But you know when they sound cute on the phone. It's always a disaster. <laughs> she calls up. She goes, I understand you don't have a Valentine. I'll be your Valentine. She was 26. 26, which Seven. is the age. It's a little old for me, Robin, but. Seven nationalities, she said. Well, yeah. yeah, she's not quite white. Not quite white, <laughs> but neither am I. Mm. And uh, she was a former model. That's oh. right. I don't five, know. Five ten. But then she's working in a law firm. How successful a model could she have been if she's working in a law firm? Yeah, she gave up the bright lights. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's the same. <laughs> what kind of mo- I mean, how bad could a model be? I don't know. I've seen some models. I don't know. They claim to be models, but you don't, you don't know where they were models. You don't know what they were models. Yeah. They were like hair models. <laughs> right. Uh, so anyway, ladies and gentlemen, here is Alexandria. Look at her. What a raving beauty. Wow. Wow. I know. <laughs> where were you modeling, Alexandria? You're a beautiful woman, but... You know, you're not a model, are you? Thank you. Oh, a rose. Thank you, my dear. Oh, uh, you are a sweet girl. Here, sit down and relax. All right. All right. Take off your clothes and I'll immediately oh, bang you. <laughs> Alexandria, you uh, called yesterday. You uh, sounded beautiful on the phone, and you are a beautiful woman. There's no doubt. Where did you model? Um, I was working as a fragrance model with Calvin Klein. Oh, a fragrance model. Yeah. What is a fragrance model? You do have a lot of fragrance on right now, as a matter of fact. Oh, wow. No, that's all, I know. I'm just saying. You wanted to smell nice for you. <laughs> you want to smell on. good. Yeah, yeah you kind of look like a black on. chick a little bit, but you got blonde hair. <laughs> Are you a black chick? Um, definitely African American. I like that. I never had one of those. Really? Mm-hmm. Well, I lost my virginity to a Jew. To a Jew? <laughs> no, who wants you to? <laughs> uh, you don't go after Jews. I don't do. You? I don't do sloppy second Sandy Jew. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, what you're saying is that you've seen me on various television appearances and uh, have uh, listened to me over the years, and you find me attractive. Actually, I think your personality is um, uh, really why I wanted to. Oh, I see. Yeah. No, it's true. Not. I mean, of course, you're attractive. <laughs> yeah, sure. No, I'd rather you come in here because I'm attractive. I don't care about my personality. <laughs> I would like one girl to say, you know what? I like your. I look. like the way you look, Shut boy. Up. You turned me on. I love your hair. <laughs> you do. Uh-huh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, am I that ugly, Robin? What? No. You know what? A friend of uh, Tony Coburn. Who's that? Who does my hair? Tony. Oh, Tony. A friend of, <laughs> you're terrible. <laughs> a friend of Tony Coburn said, she saw me in the New York Post yesterday, said, I was very handsome and very photogenic. Oh, oh definitely. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> anyway, so when you say you're a fragrance. to the school for the blind. Yeah. <laughs> when you say you were a fragrance model. Right. You mean, in other words, you modeled the a fragrance? fragrance? Yeah. So you weren't really a model. I did modeling on the side, but I was actually a fragrance model. What does that mean, a fragrance model? I don't understand. You, you stood around in a department store and let people smell you? No, I mean, I try not to let people get too close. So what would you do? Explain it to me. Were it. you, like, in department stores and stuff like that? Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> So she's one of those people who hands you the car. She was not a model. You see what I mean? You know, you come on, you kind of do me. You said you were a model. No, I actually did do modeling. You did. Where did? Where that were you modeling? That's what I did for. Not that you're not a beautiful woman, but where were you modeling? Um, I did a lot of shows for um, Life, um, <laughs> Limelight, um, the Tunnel. Uh, like tunnel. Yeah, like a lot of fashion. But those show, those dark. places are all dark. I mean, you know, she was honestly. a runway model at LaGuardia. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're talking about clubs that are poorly lit. I mean, you know, come on. What do you mean? I thought you when you said a model like in a well, magazine. Actually, that was like five months ago, and I now see. I'm working in an accounting office. All right, I see what you're saying. Let me tell you something. That was a very sweet phone call you made. Thank you. you basically called up and you said, "Look, I see that you're a lonely man." 
I didn't say that. Wait, you I have a sexy that. voice. Wow. Oh, God. You do have a sexy, <laughs> sexy voice. Thank you. You got a nice You're body. You're making her blush. You got a nice <laughs> body. You're a nice girl. You got a good personality. I could see where a lot of men would I want do. you. I uh, actually, I would be honored if maybe you and I could just share a cup of coffee or really uh, on Valentine's. That's Day. not out of the question. I'm going to tell you that right now. I'd really, it'd be cool. Just you know, pal around. Pal around. Casual. Let me tell you, when, honey, when I pal around, you're not going to know what hits you. <laughs> I'm some pal. <laughs> I'm speechless. <laughs> and you've got very nice lips. They're painted yep. the way I like them. Lacquered. They're lacquered. <laughs> they are, Robin. I did not expect this. I you have full African-American <laughs> lips, and I <laughs> love that. I do not like white people's lips. <laughs> They're too thin. I like a big lip. <laughs> and you have a nice shaped lip. And it makes me think dirty things, I'll be honest with you. Okay. That's right. <laughs> Your <laughs> lips look like a valentine. There they do. They're heart-shaped. This is for the guys, by the way. Oh, no, some chocolates? Yeah, why not? You You're know, a sexy woman. Thank you. She thought of everyone. She's very generous. <laughs> so you Sorry. have nice lips, unlike Baba Booey, who has big lips, but they're hey, not attractive. Baba Booey. They're not attractive. <laughs> My lips Baba are very Bowie. hot in the gay community. Yeah, well, <laughs> we why don't you put them there? Stand <laughs> tall. <laughs> yeah, be proud of that. Tu sais, j'aime la bouche, Baba Booey. Now, you speak French as well? <laughs> I'm playing. Oh. Um, I did study it, but I'm not fluent. I think right. I can fake it better than I can speak it. Well, you certainly would be a Good girlfriend. Uh, let, let me see. Stand up. You mind if I look you over? I'll let you look me over. I'll stand up too. Come yeah. Yeah. Okay. Sure. Look. 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 She look is me tall. Over. See, we're both tall. You've got a, a sophisticated look, which is something I need in a woman. <laughs> got a sophisticated suit on. Very beautiful. <laughs> I'm very flattered. I'll be honest with you. You're throwing me a curveball. You're being so polite. Well, of course. What are you? Some like broad comes down people. here and wants to date me. I'm <laughs> proud. I would love to. I think you want to have sex with me. I really do. I think that's what you're saying uh, in a way. I mean, you can't okay. just come out and say that. You want a little mystery, but it seems to me yep. that what you're saying is you're so hot for me, you'd have sex with me. Yeah. Well, what? I mean, it's I mean, very intimidating to call a big star and ask That's for right. a date. Yeah. You know what this is? Like Notting Hill. I'm you, she couldn't <laughs> help herself. Yeah. She had to do it. I was under your spell. Now, what do you like to do? What, do you, what are your hobbies? Oh, God. So um, I can learn a little about my Valentine. <laughs> I like to read, actually. Really? I like um, to take my pants off in bed. No, no, no. Oh. That's my hobby. Well, I sleep naked. So oh, you do? Okay, absolutely. Oh, I like that. <laughs> that worked. I think you have a C cup, am I correct? Yeah. yeah. I, I mean, you've got them well covered, <laughs> but I, 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 it's like I have, I have x ray vision. <laughs> oh, my God. He's very good at this. Yes. I see some cleavage. Break them out. Break. <laughs> yeah. Daddy, she's what do you, not your what do you think the chances are getting those things uncovered? Oh uncovered? God, oh, I don't oh, see. Here God. they go. They got to so. try to. <gasps> Where's he going? Get back over there. He's that. coming in here. <laughs> no, get back in there. <laughs> Any chance you're going to show us? Honestly, I don't know. You are my date. I'll tell you what, Howard. Yeah, go ahead. I didn't. Um, I kind. I did think about it. Everyone was telling me to, you know, be careful, whatever. Right. And if I were to come on and want to model for Penthouse or Playboy or get fans, You would show them to me. Well, I would have no choice. Right. Like, of course, it's part of the game. Yeah. But um, I really just wanted to... You're just a good girl. Let me ask oh, you a question. I like that. Yeah. I don't like a slut. No chance of getting you naked? I used to be a slut. I you used to be? Oh, but, really? You know, it's a phase I think you go through. Is that girl. right? A slut phase? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> really? You know, hey, you got to, you know, see what's out there. I, mean, I like your severe haircut. I like that blonde hair with the pushback look. Can sure. I, you, um, I just... I got it done yesterday when I knew it was going to come you see didn't. Lisa Dixit did it. Beautiful. She's awesome. She's Beautiful. Awesome. I'll run my feet through your hair. You won't even know what hit oh, you. Hey, no one's ever done that. I know. I'm a before. wild man. Kinky, I'm a right? wild man in can bed. Can I run my fingers through your hair? Of course you can, my love. Cool. Which, of course. Which well, hair are you talking about? Yeah. Jackie's making a point. Uh, you're talking about the, the hair I think you're talking about. We'll get, we'll get right in the back room over there. What is it, Baba Booey? Keep your hands off my date. No, it's, 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 so there's no chance of you getting naked for Howard, you know, for Valentine's Day? For Howard for Valentine's but Day? Like today. We'll work that out. But I think in private you're talking you today, about. No. Well, let me ask you a question. What, yeah. do you, what do you do for a living? You work at a law no, office? No, no, I didn't get anything from. So, so, you know, could you use some extra money? Excuse mm. Oh, you're going to pay me to get undressed? Yeah, I'll give you... $3,000 right yeah. now. $3,000. Yeah. You got a check. <laughs> Wait a second. You got a check Can from I, I1. I right now. From I1.com. Right. Right. right now. Three grand. No, I could wow. honestly use. Ah, uh, it's a lot of money. Wait a second. Wait. Uh, uh. Six grand. Whoa. Oh my That's goodness. That's a lot. Wait a second. You're offering her six grand to get naked? Right now. Six grand. Jeez. Cold hard cash, honey. 
<laughs> That's a lot of thousand dollars. I see a lot of really figures to add up. My date is looking at me. Yeah. What do you think? You, Howard. I don't want the money. I'm not here for that. I'm here to go on a date with you. Wait a second. Really? Hold, on. Hold it. Look. Out that check. Oh my God. Seven thousand dollars. Give it to the poor. Sure, you, you can do whatever want. you want. We'll yeah, I don't want to get undressed. <laughs> you don't want to get undressed. I, no, you know what? I don't have seven thousand dollars now, and so but you could have it. You could have it by the end of the day. But I don't miss it. I'd probably miss a little Imagine bit of myself. Imagine what? Did you girl. take a cab here, or did you Excuse take? No, a I took the train. Took I took a limo. You could have taken a limo here. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Your, your money <laughs> would have gone on the day. I wouldn't have wanted to waste it. It's a dollar fifty. Gary, get me a time machine. I want to get back to Slut City in a couple of years. I know. Don't you hate when you get a girl? So you're willing to turn down seven thousand dollars to get naked? Yeah. Wow. Because it. What am I missing? You right. know, I don't have it. It's not your if you were to take it from me, then maybe. Yeah, but your prize is me. Is what Absolutely. You say. What? Yeah. I, mean, I didn't come down here for that. Let me that tell you something, Gary. You've proven something right now that this girl really loves me. Yeah. yeah. This is not it's some not girl, girl who money. came down here for money. She want breast no. implants. Let me she tell you something. Want, all she really needs is you. You just want a good man. Who was singing that yesterday? Nancy Siriani. That's all right. All I really want is you. See? <laughs> yeah. Because her husband's never home and he's unavailable. <laughs> Let me tell you something, honey. Thank you, Baba Bowie. Baba Bowie. That was an excellent test. I have some chocolate for you, by the way. <laughs> for Baba Bowie? Oh, he'll take it. <laughs> yeah. But he has to get naked for it. <laughs> yes, Jeff, go ahead. Hey, Howard, man, this girl sounds wicked hot to you. You should just, like, get with her. And hey, dude, do you see me working my magic on her? Give me a chance. Did I don't want to see... Wicked hot? <laughs> wicked hot. <laughs> it's a Boston accent. She is very hot. Hey, Tell Howard. Gary to stop pestering her. She's only down there to get with you. She don't want your money. I know. I like that. I like that. You might have found the right one. Terribly flattering. Finally found the right one. I mean, she sounds like a nice girl. Oh, yeah, baby. You sound very nice and very warm and loving. She's nothing wrong with that. Ain't cute. Thank What's you. she look like, Howard? She's an angel. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody who likes me is an angel. <laughs> Remember that. Am I right? Absolutely. You have golden skin. She is not a dark African-American. No, it's a honey tone. I, a honey tone is a very good way. <laughs> Lighter skin than you, Robin. That's right. You must be jealous of her. Why would I be That's what they say in the so black community. I love my skin You do love it. I love me. You want that color. I love she probably wants to be your color. <laughs> this is the best color. Now, you know how they say in the black community, the lighter skin you are? I know they the, said. Now, you are a light-skinned black. When you were growing up, were a lot of the blacks jealous of you? I used to get beat up by black kids on white kids. You did. Yeah. Everybody beat Everybody you. Everybody beat me up. Well, you want to know that we have that in common. Yeah. I've been beaten by both races myself. <laughs> I'm ready to punch her. See, they are so compatible. <laughs> You're ready to punch me. So what, did you have a white uh, daddy and a black mother or something? Or a black father and a white right. mother? Right. Black right. father and white mother. And they, they separated? No. Oh. They're still they together? still together? Yeah. Really? No, you told me those things never work out, Howard. <laughs> Usually don't. <laughs> right, in this case, it did. Where are you from? Manhattan. Oh. Really? I was born in New York City. You were uh, when you were reared in New York City? Uh, New York <laughs> State. <laughs> Sorry? Ah. New York State. I see. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, and you have a fine educational background, don't you? Um, I kind of have a check of educational pass. You do? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I tell you, I like what I'm hearing. There's nothing wrong with this. Josh, go ahead. Hey, I just want to tell you this girl is perfect. Take it slow, take it easy. Take it slow. I'm, I'm taking it slow. I know, I can hear that. You can but see I what I'm doing. This girl is perfect. Right. She sounds like she's amazing looking. She's got a great voice. She just hold like she's on. Let me. Hey, what are you trying to steal my girl? <laughs> you scumbag. Not, you see how guys are. <laughs> Dizzy, this is how guys are. This is how guys are. I am not after nobody's woman. I'm happy with mine. Well, I don't know, but you just keep quiet. I have a I mulatto <laughs> girlfriend. Ah. And you Are you considered mulatto or octoroon? I would say mulatto, right? Uh, if it's half and half, why wouldn't she be? Mm, I don't know. This is something that's very confusing. It's a mulatto. weird mix. She's very light-skinned. You look like someone who just got a tan, that's all. I could use a tan. And you have kind of white features, except your lips are very full, which I like. Uh. You know what I'm saying? Ah. What's wrong with this package? Nothing. Nothing. So? You're my Valentine, that's it. Really? Of course. I am so pleased. I'm really? So pleased. Absolutely. Why are you wearing that jacket? Isn't it hot in here? Mm. It's a little. So now I'm trying to get a close up. Hi, you <laughs> devil, you. Oh, there's something. I mean, what do you want to do? We could do anything. We can get pizza or. Um, hey, hey, hey. Pizza? I don't care. Yeah, I mean, I'm not. Whatever. We're going to play. Uh, uh, never mind. Oh, yes, oh, pizza. Your only uh, hobby is reading? No, I what actually. What do you like to do? I surf. Um, 
<laughs> I oh, you're talking to her. You rollerblade? I like to rollerblade. I can't like, do that. No, but I like to rollerblade. Like, I'm built like Frankenstein. Real. Really? Yeah, like really? I can yeah. skit, skit on stairs. Really? I can do 180. You do the whole dancing yeah. thing and all that? I can that? do that too. Mine's in Central oh Park in the sanctuary. You can the skate center. and dance? Absolutely. Oh, my clots. <laughs> oh, it's okay, Howard. Yeah. Well, good for you. <laughs> well, listen, I don't know what it means to be a Valentine. You know, it would be very touchy with the kids and everything. I have to introduce you to them, but. Oh, God. <laughs> That's but right. Well, you're their stepmother oh, now. Don't frighten them. <laughs> no, actually, uh, I am complimented that you would like to be my Valentine. And I don't even know what that means, to be your Valentine. But I am your Valentine. Great. Well, you have to get together on Valentine's Day. Yes. Yeah. And give her a present. Oh, he doesn't have to get me anything. Just his company. Shh, no. Oh, Robin, oh, you're so me. cool. <laughs> I think I love her. Come on. Do you like diamonds? <laughs> oh, no, I have your little girl. Who doesn't right, diamonds? Of course. Oh, of course. Uh, Ralph, what, what is it? Yes. Hey, man. What? Why, why don't you be honest? We're, let's have the conversation we're going to have later. Oh, Which, my God. Uh, you what are you talking you about? You Come talking on, man. About? What's the matter with you? A perfume model? <laughs> you I know, right? Doesn't that <laughs> suck? You. I know. No, no, no. Go there. It's okay. She's a totally lovely go girl. There. Go there. Come on, okay. dude. You blew it. I told you you should have trotted down a bunch of chicks. Oh, get out of here. You're an animal. Model. I'm like, I'm happy with my Valentine. You're I don't the other chick so. in his life. He's very happy. <laughs> get a real model. It's okay. You probably bought something from me and now he's like feeling bad. Is everything. No. I am not feeling bad at all. That's Ralph no, who's feeling you, bad. Him. Oh, him, yeah. Ralph probably bought some women's perfume. Exactly. Ralph wants to be a Valentine. turning down $7,000. Why? So, Why I mean, wouldn't you take, take the money? Take your clothes off. Yeah, okay, but look at this. I don't know what. I mean, what's seven thousand dollars? I don't have it now. I'm not gonna miss it. However, if I take my clothes off, I'll feel like crap about myself, and I mean that's gonna ruin. Why? My whole why life. would you feel like crap about yourself? Well, when, you, when you get, would you get naked for seven thousand on the yeah, show? Ralph. Me? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you. Yeah. No, you wouldn't. Uh, I would. Uh, <laughs> Baba Booey, well. Baba Booey, I've seen here. you naked. I don't <laughs> want to see that again. Why are we offering round seven? We should have started at three. Yeah. Mike, go ahead. <laughs> Good yeah, point. Yeah, Howard, for the first time, I agree with that faggot, Ralph. Th this brought has uh, got to be kidding me with the little sweet voice and give the money to the poor. Oh, she is works it in an accounting office. She's a glorified receptionist. I guess so. Take the seven grand, lose the clothes, and that's that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Thank you. This Ralph, must be her listen. father. And, I, and I'm, I'm talking to a guy who takes it in the seat. And yeah. Ralph agrees with me. Oh. Ralph, you agree with him, right? You know? Well, I don't agree I take it in the seat, but I agree she should take the money and take her clothes off. <laughs> uh, By the way, I don't know if you reckon. Uh, at least lose the blouse for seven grand. By the way, this is uh, Les Moonves on the phone. Ah. That's right. Eight hours. Stay hey, strong. Genius. Thank you. <laughs> well, listen, I got a break for commercial. I want to thank you for coming down here. You, you are a beautiful woman. I don't know what it means to be Valentine. We'll figure it out. Yeah, let me just like come watch the show, sit in the back. All right, maybe we'll do that. Me. Maybe yeah, we'll absolutely. do that. And you'll be my official Valentine. All right, awesome. Thank uh, you very much. You're a very, very sexy woman. Right. Awesome. Thank take you. Her off. Oh, I'll be sure. quiet, oh. Ralph. God, this guy sounds like he hasn't had a date in years. That's right. No, he hasn't. Oh, Ralph? <laughs> the only date he has is with me. <laughs> I'll be making you dinner Monday. <laughs> He's such a loser. I yeah. said to him, you know, I, I, I was going out to eat dinner the other night, right? Yeah. With my daughter. Who's going to show? He goes, oh, I'm going to the same restaurant. I'll, I go, Ralph. Oh, no. Leave me alone. you hone in on your dinner. Yes. You know what, Dan? You're a retard. I'll tell you why. Hey, you're so don't say that. All right, I hung up. Oh, you're so don't talk about like that. That's right. Yeah, I like that you stick yeah, up for you me. you want to see the bitch come out of me? <laughs> right. Alexandria, you are a beautiful woman. Thank you for Thank being you my valentine. Much. I have to take a break here, Robin. We have a very busy show. We'll be back right after these words. Okay. Alexandra, so so you didn't get naked. You wouldn't do it, huh? Seven thousand dollars. Hold on one sec. Let me just talk to you real quick. So for seven thousand dollars, you wouldn't do it, huh? No, not at all. What what would it have taken? Oh, nothing. It's just I don't. It's just not something I was gonna do. For you. All right. Well, are you glad you got to be Howard's Valentine? Oh, absolutely. You're kidding. I thought he, I was going to come down here and like, get locked out of the studio. I didn't know what to expect. Were you, glad, you, you were glad that he, that he was attracted to you and that he thought you were pretty? I'm sure he says it's all the girls, but I mean, he was a perfect gentleman. He was so sweet, and I couldn't have expected anything better. So where does it go from here, though? Um, well, he said I was his Valentine, and um, he's got my number, so... I mean, he's already made my millennium, though, so I'm happy. He's already made your millennium, you absolutely. said? Absolutely. By being your Valentine? Well, plus, I was on the Howard Stern show. I got to talk to Howard. And I think he's a great guy. So, do you think anything's going to go on, though, in the future? Oh, uh, let's see if he calls. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks for coming down. Thank you. I, I guess congratulations for being Howard's Valentine. Well, 